Hello, friends. Uh, today, uh, you know, welcome to this uh, online, um, you know, training. And uh, in this half an hour, uh, 30 to 40 minutes of training, you will know in depth about, uh, you know, different online business opportunities, which you could uh, start right from your home. And, uh, you know, you, you can expand it globally and you can pursue the businesses along with your own uh, career or your anything what you do in your for your if you're a student uh, you can build this business as well so different kind of a business ideas so that in this next half an hour 40 minutes you will go back with a lot of information and also you know exactly you should be able to decide what to do next which one is the right opportunity for you to go ahead and build it really really big so let me just share the screen and then we can go ahead and discuss in detail, okay? So what you'll be um, uh, learning is 10 powerful ways you could uh, make money online. We're talking about digital business. We're talking about online businesses. So how you, you could 10 up opportunities will be showing how you can have an income source right from your home. If you have a, a internet connection, uh, broadband, or if you have a phone as well uh, with internet, you can build it. So let's get started, guys. Uh, you know, um, this is the agenda for uh, uh, you know the next thirty minutes. Is why online business? We'll discuss about my journey. Who am I? What is my credibility? And talk about the business essentials. So what is it needed? So basics of any business. Then the 10 business opportunities, what we'll discuss about, we could start from home and then we'll discuss about my favorite one, you know, which um, um, uh, I would suggest and why I would suggest that as well. But again, it's up to you, which you are, whichever, you know, this is nothing wrong and right. All the opportunity people have made money. And then we'll talk about entrepreneurship. Is entrepreneurship for you? because it may not be for everyone, okay? So that we'll discuss about that. And we'll discuss uh, in uh, in the end, the mentorship, you know, which is an essential factor of building anything, any, any businesses or anything you start new, why this is essential, we'll discuss about mentorship as well, okay? So now let's get started. Why online businesses, okay? Online of business opportunities. Now, if you see the um, growth, uh, you know, of e-commerce businesses, now, this is from the Forbes magazine, as you can see, Forbes, uh, you know, one of the respected uh, kind of a business journal and, uh, you know, it's a journal of, of entrepreneurs as well. It says that e-commerce sales grew 50%, can you imagine 50% to $870 billion during pandemic itself, okay, only during pandemic, so that's a couple of years. And during this time as well, who gained the most, who has the, who leveraged the, uh, the most of the market is Amazon. Amazon, as you can see the figures here, so almost 3.68 billion monthly visitors in 2020, okay? So that means during that pandemic period, you can see that 3.68 billion. So that's quite big and followed by eBay, which is nowhere close to what Amazon got, okay? So that, that shows a lot. And then other companies, you know, are following um, as well, you know, other, uh, those are not predominant, for example, Microsoft or Samsung, these are not predominantly e-commerce focused business, but they, in between Amazon and eBay, you can see how big Amazon grew as well during this time. Okay, now let's talk about online opportunity. Uh, how big is the global market, uh, and how how big the we discuss about how big is the global market. We discuss about how what is the expectation. Okay, so now global e-commerce industry was expected. I think the figures are uh, you know just coming out now, but uh, you know it's in multiple trillions of dollars in two thousand twenty-one itself was expected close to uh, five trillion dollars. Okay, now that the you know the growth curve as you can see in that uh, you know diagram there at the bottom left corner, uh, you see the the trend you know like uh, only I think this pandemic has uh, 
just um, catapulted uh, you know this entire growth and you know it's gone through the roof now now not only e-commerce you know like where e-commerce means we are talking about uh, you know buying and selling uh, of goods um, but not necessarily goods but we will talk about service industry we talk about an industry which is growing really fast and really big is the e-learning industry okay now e-commerce and e-learning you know um, that means um, you, if you have the knowledge uh, in certain area, then you can sell your knowledge online and you can make a lot of money out of it. And it's expected to grow to $375 billion by 2026. Okay, that's e-learning itself. So that means anything to do with e, as you can see, it's a humongous growth potential right in there. Okay, now let's talk about... Um, myself okay so sorry now myself uh, you know who am i or what is uh, kind of a, my credibility of uh, why should you listen to me okay now my journey uh, my, my journey started, uh, as you can see, um, these are some of the pictures when I was a student, the, then I graduated and then, uh, you know, um, through the online business opportunity, I have been exposed to online business opportunity and I built it, uh, you know, as single and we got married and then with having kids. So uh, different phases of life, I have built the business and, um, um, you know, fairly you know got some bit of a success and uh, not yet uh, you know i could say i am a, a billionaire or a multimillionaire yet but hey you know that has given me some choices and uh, you know to do certain things and do certain flexibility uh, it has provided us so let me just tell you those as well that how you can also leverage and how you can also have a lifestyle um, and uh, you can leverage the online business to grow, um, you know, your finances and your, um, uh, you know, family's security as well. So now I've written a book as well, Longs to Leadership. Uh, this book um, as well is on Amazon. If you want to, you can grab hold of a copy of that book as well. I have, uh, you know, spoken to in multiple stages, uh, you know, uh, in different countries as well. Um, so these are some of the pictures of you know, myself and uh, you know, my wife. Um, so we have, uh, you, know, um, uh, you know, not only we have uh, uh, been uh, building the business, but also we have been able to just empower other people as well to, to grow uh, in their businesses as well. Okay. So now let's get into the details of, okay, what is it needed to build a successful business okay now that is what we call uh, the business essentials so three things are needed okay we call it three p's to build a successful uh, online business or any business for that matter okay first is people second is product and the third is uh, uh, place okay so that means you need people Okay, so that means uh, who am I going to sell it to? Who are you going to sell it, uh, sell these products uh, or service to? So that means you need people who will be buying the products or the, they will be paying you the money. So that people is extremely essential. Second is the product. So that means what are you going to sell? So that means product could be could be a physical product. Uh, product could be you know uh, something the thing what you are going to sell. Uh, it could be physical product or it could be service as well. Okay, the product or service. Okay, now the people product and the third thing is place. Okay, now you need a platform. You need uh, you know a place from where you will be selling it. For example, in a traditional brick and mortar business, it's the uh, it's the premises or the or the shop, okay, where you will be selling. Um, and um, in an e-commerce platform or an online business, where do you sell? Online. That means you need to have a website. You need to have some web presence, okay. Or so that is where you are going to sell. So that means if you are uh, thinking of an online business or we are discussing online business, that means you cannot have a business online business without you having. And you know a presence online, okay, but not necessarily you need to have a website of your own. We'll discuss about that in you know in um, a few slides ahead. But you will 
you will know about it okay so that means don't worry if you are uh, if you do not have a website or you do not know how to develop a website you don't have to so we'll discuss about those parts as well that how you can have an online business uh, all around the world without you even having your own website okay that's that's super powerful but how is that possible we'll discuss about that now we discuss about uh, you know the business essentials we discuss about uh, now let's discuss about uh, you know um, the process okay of a of a business that means what does it entail these are the things needed we discussed about the uh, three p's now let's discuss about the process okay so process means uh, you know uh, what does it follow so that means uh, you know uh, with all these three elements in place there is a process involved. So process is, uh, you know, you uh, you are facilitating a product or a service. That means uh, receiving. That means if you are selling goods, you have to receive the goods. That means it, you should be in, the, in possession of that goods. If you are selling the service as well, you need to have that knowledge within your um, uh, within your brain, within your head. Okay, so that that means that whatever you are selling, you should be in. Uh, position of that okay and then what you do is you do a further processing of that product or that knowledge and then if you see in the case of the product so you pick the product pack the product and inventorize the product and ship it okay so that is about the product physical product based business okay now in a, in a service based business a knowledge based business Picking, packing, and inventorizing and shipping. These are all cut short. Okay. So that means these are all very much, uh, you know, uh, kind of a um, straightforward process. Okay. So we'll discuss about that as well. But let's discuss about then, okay, after you understand this is a process in, uh, you know, is needed to start a business, the three P's of starting a business. Let's discuss about, okay. What business, man? What is that business we are going to start? So we'll discuss about those now of what are the businesses which are available. Okay. Now this diagram, this, this is kind of a flow chart which will give you the information. Okay. It's kind of a step-by-step. -step. It will give you all the indication and direction of how you can choose your own ideal business. What does that mean? So now you're thinking about, okay, how do I start, uh, start a business? How do I make money online? Okay. Now you have to decide, okay, one of these, okay, product or service. Now, can you do both? Well, absolutely, you can do anything you want. But to start with, I would suggest that pick up just one. Okay, so product or service. Okay, now if you choose a product, then you have to decide, okay, uh, you know, you are going to sell products. That means, is, is it your own product? That means, are you going to be in possession of the products? Are you going to own those products? Okay, that means own products. That means you are the owner of those products. And if you are not going to be own the product, then, uh, you know, that's a different business model altogether. What does that mean? If you want to own your own product, that means that you have to invest. Uh, then you just have to think about, okay, am I going to sell, okay, my own product in um, an existing uh, marketplace or I need to create my own marketplace? That means the market is already there. We discussed about that amazon um, uh, or ebay or etsy there are so many online platforms that means the traffic is already there people are already coming in you just showcase your product there and they will pay you okay so that means these are existing market however you can also build your own uh, you know brand your own market base so that is accomplished through you know you are having your own website okay now there are so many platform providers like shopify or wix and woocommerce um it's a you know wordpress based uh, plugin so what happens here is these uh, kind of uh, you know companies they provide you a platform okay and ready made platform whereby you do not have to even know the coding of how you can develop on uh, your own website you just pay a subscription buy uh, you know uh, their services and you will get a ready made drag and drop kind of a um, you know a website you can design 
where you know without much of an efforts you can have your own website in no time because the templates is there design is there you can also hire people to um, so get it developed as well that is not, also not that expensive okay so we'll discuss about those websites as well where you can get these uh, you know qualified and experienced people um, uh, who could help you with web designing okay website designing so now let's see the route of services now you are thinking the okay, product server well, i'm not that excited i'm not passionate about saying the products but how about i have uh, i think i have some knowledge what does that mean so all of us have experiences and knowledge okay so you can also sell those okay and make money now how big is that industry we discussed about that uh, 480 billion dollars uh, you know um, the industry size is going to be in a couple of years' time. So that means that one of the fastest growing industry is e-learning. So that means you are talk, you are talking about selling your own service. Also, you are talk uh, we are take, talking about selling your own uh, you know kind of uh, talent. Okay, or teaching people. Okay, so that means one is a teaching based, another is a consulting based business. These are different kinds of service based businesses. Okay. Now, when you are talking about services, we discuss about, okay, am I going to sell my own knowledge or somebody else's knowledge? What does that mean? So that means if I want to sell my own knowledge, my own talent, then the ways you can make money is, uh, you know, by video blogging or blogging or YouTubing. In, in, you can have your own Instagram um, uh, chat channel or YouTube channel, uh, you know, Instagram uh, account and uh, you can have your own podcast you can have your own facebook uh, you know um business page as well so you can have multiple choices whereby you have to create content to showcase to tell people that you know okay because you won't be trusted until you know uh, you prove to others your knowledge okay so that is what is it and then um uh, online businesses okay so that means uh, you know if you want to sell your own talent then how do you uh, sell um you can uh, go for online freelancing uh, you know uh, there are portals uh, you know online uh, you know uh, we'll discuss about that in a, in a minute as well um so you can sell info product that means information and the knowledge based products you create a, an ebook or a book you can write and sell uh, you can sell courses as well. And advertisement revenue is one of the biggest revenue from all your uh, you know, social media channel. Okay, that's our, another source of income. And if you want to do not want to sell your own talent, your own knowledge, then you can be an affiliate. Okay, and you can sell other people's, uh, you know, uh, uh, courses. Okay, their knowledge, you can, you can sell it. That means you have to learn, you have to know how to sell um, uh, you know how to how to get those uh, prospective customers you have to learn that okay however that's a you know very big industry as well so and then you can have your own master classes membership site consulting you can do one on one consulting or you know corporate consulting and you, uh, also you can eventually start your own mentorship program that means you are mentoring coaching other people for them to succeed whatever you have done you learn and then you teach other people uh, the same thing okay now what kind of opportunities out of all these what we what we discussed here um you know, uh, let's discuss about how do you sell products online? Okay, we discussed about uh, these uh, platforms here. Um, here, Amazon, FBA, eBay, Etsy. Okay, so what you're doing is your own products and also exist uh, existing market. Okay, so sell products online marketplace, Amazon, eBay. So that means these are powerful portals. Second thing is sell your products and services on your own website. We discussed about Shopify, Wix, uh, Squarepace, WooCommerce, selling info products using third-party application. Okay, so that means there are websites where you know you you can package your knowledge uh, in the form of an ebook or in the form of a course. And Gumroad, uh, Send All, Sellify, uh, Thrivecard, uh, Sam Card. There are so many of them. Okay, uh, some of uh, most of them are WordPress-based. Uh, you know the plugin. Okay, if you do not know what is WordPress, that's a uh, um 
quick and easy way of uh, you know putting together your own uh, website without you even knowing a single line of code okay that's powerful is that wordpress and selling courses you know in um, uh, you know platforms like skillshare udemy teachable thinkific you can sell your own knowledge in terms of courses okay just like the way you have let's say you know um, amazon you know for products udemy okay uh, for our example another website where you can learn okay by buying a course on udemy okay like skillshare say exactly the same way then freelancing okay you can with a service-based business, you can start your own freelancing, start charging people, consulting, mentorship, affiliate marketing, network marketing, advertising revenue. So these are different avenues you can start to leverage and start to make money on your own knowledge. Let's talk about e-commerce now. Okay. So we'll elaborate that. You discuss about Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Let's take the example of uh, you know some of the e-commerce web portals. We'll discuss about both um uh you know e-commerce marketplaces and self-hosted you know e-commerce um, providers as well so marketplace means already existing market is there people are coming to buy and you just have to put up your own um, uh, shop there as well online and you know with um, with a bit of advertisement you may have to do and but you know that's how it works and you you know you can get traffic and you can get the buyers to buy from you Okay, I buy from humans, they will be buying um, through Amazon, but your product, okay, eBay and Etsy, they are on marketplaces. The second uh, aspect is self-hosted. That means if you don't want to uh, be relying on Amazon, you want to have built your own web portal so that uh, tomorrow you can scale it to any level you want, you can uh, diversify, that is more possible if you want to create your own brand, uh, then it should be self-hosted. That means you don't have to go to a marketplace. You just, uh, you know, uh, put up your own website and start to, you know, work for your own business. So there are platform providers like Shopify, Wix, uh, Squareface, WooCommerce. They do that. Uh, they provide that platform for you to um, set up your own e-commerce, um, you know, e-commerce uh, web portal. Okay. So now let's discuss about uh, a quick example we'll take about Amazon, okay? Because we discuss about online platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy and all. But let's talk about briefly about how does Amazon works so that you understand as well if you want to start a business with Amazon, how does that work, okay? So now it's very simple. Amazon have a program for FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, where, you know, uh, you send the stock to Amazon. So that means you register as a, as a seller and you, uh, you know, pay a subscription fee to become an FBA, by, uh, fulfillment by Amazon. And then, you know, what you do is you send, uh, you know, your stock to the Amazon a warehouse and then Amazon, Amazon after storing this this stock at their warehouse, uh, you know then the customer buys and uh, you know the, your your product and Amazon picks up their product because it is called fulfillment by Amazon. So I mean they do the uh, you know all the heavy lifting for you and then Amazon ships the products okay across to the to the customer okay. So that means uh, this is how it works. Let's discuss about another portal, we are, which is Shopify. Okay, now this is a very popular, uh, you know, platform provider. I would say, okay, and as we discussed earlier, so they allow you to have your own website. You don't have to sell uh, to Amazon, sell in Amazon, but here you, you know you are just selling the products on your own website. Okay, so that means sign up. You can sign up and then you know add your product whatever you want and uh, you know you can customize the look and feel of the product uh, of your website and uh, domain name and you can activate your payment procedure so you can receive the payment from your customer okay and they have different plans shopify has a light plan basic shopping <laughs> shopify plan and uh, simply plan so you just see yourself where do you fit okay um, initially you may have to just uh, go for a free trial and then you can, you know, uh, upgrade your, um, your, uh, you know, levels or, you know, different uh, facilities, what you want from Shopify. Based on that, you can uh, renew and upgrade your subscription. 
Okay, now let's discuss about e-learning. We discussed briefly about uh, the products or e-commerce. Let's discuss about e-learning. That's also an exciting field, that just like the products, okay. Um, uh, is of someone else product we are selling and making money. But here we are talking about a platform which give, gives us a lot of satisfaction to be honest, okay. Um, it's earlier learning industry. That means all of us, whatever we know, you can teach and help other people because there are people out there and millions and in billions who are looking for the experience, looking for the knowledge what you have. But you may not want, may not uh, know it because it's inherent within yourself. But other people can identify that. Okay, so selling your own knowledge. How do you sell? Written, um, you, know, you, you know, you write. Um, about uh, you know anything uh, you know you you learn and you can you can help other people with that knowledge. Then you can uh, have your own ebook, Amazon Kindle as well. You know um, you can upload your ebook and uh, some of the platforms, independent platform like Gumroad. Uh, you know um, they are quite quite popular though. You know like they are getting popular whereby they just give um, and they host your um, uh, you know master classes in their portal okay how powerful is that now video okay selling your knowledge on uh, through video how do you do that well these are all courses skillshare you can create a course teachable you can create a course master classes udemy thinkific these are all different uh, you know portals or websites where you know online courses are being sold Okay, you can enroll yourself or you can pay a fee and you can join the facility. Okay, um, join, um, not the facility, but yeah, you can get a subscription of all, you know, these uh, web portals. Okay, and then you can sell your um, uh, knowledge live. That means with quick interaction with someone. Okay, so that's freelancing, consulting, coaching, mentorship. Uh, these are different avenues are open now for you, okay? Now, let's discuss about freelancing, okay? If you want to choose freelancing as your kind of, uh, you know, live uh, knowledge sharing, you, know, you want to do, uh, and you want to become a freelancer, then what do you do then? Well, there are so many uh, freelancing, uh, you know, uh, websites where jobs are posted, the work is posted like Fiverr Freelancer, uh, Upwork, uh, people per share, uh, sorry, people per hour, a Guru and Airtask, there are so many of them. You know, you can Google it and to find it out more. Okay. So any of these, uh, you know, you can, you can enroll yourself, you can uh, provide your service in any of these uh, uh, websites and, uh, you know, and these apps and you can start to get phone calls, uh, you know, or you can start to get an email with, uh, you know, someone interested to hire you, okay? Now, selling your knowledge, okay, how, what are the steps? Identify your talent, what you are good at, create the content on social media so that you grab other people's attention, other people know for sure that you are someone, okay? They must have seen you before they buy anything from you, as you can know, uh, know that, uh, you know, if you um, haven't developed that trust, if you know, do not know that other person, you would be reluctant to, join that person for you know anything you want okay so create after you create the content and create a lead magnet okay and you collect their people's email okay and um, you know lead magnet is something which you give out give them free in uh, in return you are giving uh, you are getting their email address okay now you can go for advertisement okay you can go for advertisements, uh, you know, um, and uh, like Facebook um, ad, uh, YouTube ad. So there are different uh, advertisements you can you can do as well to sell your knowledge, okay, in different forms. And so you, what do you do then? So you advertise your whatever you want to sell, you know, on different, uh, you know, different kinds of, you know, channel. And then you invite people for a webinar. Okay, that is how it works. So you start uh, with a you know uh, the business presentation, whatever is your proposal, and uh, you know you give them enough value. Okay, in your presentation. Okay, it's not that you are holding on to your uh, you know knowledge and information and letting them go. You know that that is a, a, a you know 
clear indication that the trust you cannot build. So give them enough value and sell at the end of your webinar, you sell them your coaching and consulting and courses, whatever you have. So that is the ideal path and that is the ideal way to go ahead, okay? Step by step, okay? So now let's discuss about another way you can make money online, which is called ad revenue or influencer. Okay, so that means you can become an influencer that a lot of people ca will come to you because you have millions of followers and they will seek your help in advertising certain products or service. Okay, and there is advertisement revenue as well. Okay, advertisement, um, uh, you know, you can, let's say you have a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, there will be advertisements, uh, you know, once uh, your your website is ready to, uh, or sorry, your YouTube channel is ready for monetization. You can start to see that income as well coming in. But ad revenue is one of the one of the major source of revenue as well. Okay, so that means uh, you know other people will put the ad in uh, on top of your um, you know videos on uh, let's say YouTube, and uh, you know you are that's that is the way. Um, you know, you can start to make money at revenue through ad revenue. Okay. So now let's discuss about affiliate marketing. Okay. That's another beautiful way you can make money. Affiliate marketing, you become an affiliate or you get affiliated with a, a company or an organization. And uh, that's been a huge, you know, one of the affiliate marketing platform is ClickBank. Okay. And uh, there are so many stories about people becoming extremely wealthy and uh, making a good cash flow um, through, uh, you know, uh, affiliate marketing. Okay. Now, there are so many affiliate portals as well. You can go to Digistore, um, uh, you know, Digistore 24. Okay. ClickBank, as I said, is quite popular as well. Amazon Associates, that's a big kind of, uh, you know, website, as you know, thousands and millions of products are there. So you can become an associate and as you write uh, blogs, uh, you know, or your video uh, blogging as well, or vlogging, um, you know, whatever you do, then you can, you know, um, you can promote, okay, uh, becoming an affiliate, you know, and get affiliated with these companies. I mean, these companies are basically give a platform. And I'm not, not about Amazon associate, but I'm talking about ClickBank, Digistore, and affiliate, okay. So these are these are the kind of a, you know aggregator or you know other people put their product in here and you can become an affiliate to for those products and start to sell and make money. Now after affiliate marketing, I'm really excited about another industry called a network marketing. One of the oldest, I would say, um, uh, profession or an industry. Okay, network marketing, but again, it has got its own. Uh, you know, kind of a fair share of uh, uh, people, um, you know, misinterpreting the business models, which I wanted to clarify it here as well. So network marketing, you know, is based on the concept of your network is your net worth. So that means you have to understand this uh, importance of uh, a network and build a solid network. Okay, that's that's why we call it, uh, you know, um, the, uh, so we are in a, social commerce industry. So there are some, um, some people have given it a bad name as well. They say that, okay, oh, I, I have been on that pyramid uh, scheme. Okay. So now we have to be very clear after, you know, a couple of cold, uh, you know. Um, so when you are discussing about direct selling versus, uh, you know, illegal pyramid scheme, uh, illegal pyramid schemes are not, you know, as, as the name suggests that, uh, you know, it is not legal. So you, nobody can operate a business on legal pyramid, but network marketing is uh, not a pyramid selling business. Why is because you have to understand that as well, that how the profit sharing and compensation plan works so that you appreciate how, why it's not a pyramid. Okay. Um, stay away from illegal pyramid scheme. You should avoid at all cost. Okay. So that's, that's very, very important. So, what is, uh, I know, special about network marketing? Well, network marketing, you start with, uh, you know, low or no investment. It's, you start with a side hustle without without giving up your own job or a profession or whatever you do. Um, uh, they has got a shallow learning curve. That means uh, you know, not a 
not a lot of things for uh, you know anyone starting the network marketing business to learn uh, that's the best thing is uh, free mentorship that means you will have a mentor uh, you know someone who is senior and uh, is uh, you know been successful in in this business so they won't charge you okay outside world if you see for any course you just have to pay i don't know quite quite a lot of money okay then another thing about network marketing is personal development personal development plan is embedded in the network marketing business so that means listening um, associating and reading every day so that has become a part of uh, you know uh, um I mean, it, it is a listening, reading, uh, associating. These are kind of a fundamental or I would say pillars of network marketing business. Okay. So that means, uh, you know, you grow yourself personally and network marketing gives you a passive income. Okay. So initially work hard, but eventually you don't have to. Okay. So these are some of the major, uh, you know, uh, network marketing businesses. Amway is at the top. Okay, one of the world's biggest. Then Herbalife, Avon, Medicare, there are so many of them every every day. There will be you know another hundred of them, you know, uh, registering. So so but these are you know Amway, near Herbalife, and Avon, Medicare, these are the four biggest one, uh, biggest network marketing businesses. You can you can you know go to their website and find out more about these, but let's let's we do a quick comparison before we wrap it up here. Okay, what did we discuss and how did they compare all these five areas we discussed? If you want to be a freelancer, you know, uh, on Fiverr or Upwork or uh, you know, freelancer.com, then capital is nil. You don't have to put any your own capital. Okay, yeah, the learning time you don't have to learn a lot because you uh, you know your own story. You know about this thing. That's why you are joining. Yeah, so. Um, Revenue potential is, uh, you know, good as well. And mentorship is not needed because you have been in that whatever you are going to teach. Amazon FBA, okay, or eBay or Etsy, you know, these are all online um, portals or marketplaces. Here, you need capital, okay. May not be in hundreds of thousands, but you definitely need some capital because you have to buy those products, okay. Um, whatever you are going to sell it on Amazon, okay, um, or eBay or Etsy, okay. So now, learning time of Amazon FBA programs and all that is, you know, you have to learn, you know, the tricks of the trade. And revenue wise as well, we are expecting good revenue, so nothing wrong with that. And mentorship is uh, something which is a uh, paid. That means you have to pay for mentorship. That means you have to attend or uh, you know other. Uh, Conference and seminars, that is where you learn. Then info product. Okay. For info product, capital is very less. Okay. Learning time is uh, you know a bit of a learning time. Uh, you know, you have to you have to learn. Uh, and uh, you know, maybe a bit of a marketing you may need and all. Uh, and then mentorship. Okay, mentorship as well, you have to pay for it. Affiliate marketing is exactly the same as network marketing, but the good thing about network marketing is capital outlay. You do not have to have, okay. And um, but learning time is very less. Uh, you know, revenue potential is humongous, and mentorship is uh, given to you free of charge. Okay. So, in conclusion, what should I say? In conclusion, I would say that you follow this diagram which, uh, you know, if you have need a copy of it, just uh, message me. I'll be more than happy to send you this, uh, you know, uh, diagram where you will be able to find out what is the right business for me, okay? However, if you want to start any business, not only this business, any business you start, the mindset is important. So let's just, uh, you know, sleep over it. Let's uh, practice that over and over again so that you become... Uh, or you have a positive mental attitude or mental mindset. So we discussed already about ESBI. Okay, so you have to appreciate uh, when you are moving from employment to business owner quadrant. Uh, you know you want to be a business owner. So there is a bit of a learning and challenges you have to go through. You have to be self confident instead of saying you know can I do it? You know you have to have come back. You have to have a approach that why can't I? Okay. The mindset for your failure is, uh, uh, you know, should be of, um, you know, um, 
the founder of uh, not founder but uh, the inventor of right light bulb okay thomas alva edison so he says that you know 10000 experiments he failed he said i didn't fail 10000 times i just learned 10000 different ways how why uh, you know uh, the experiment what i am doing and experimenting on lights you know uh, so why it don't work eventually we'll find out a way it works and eventually he found it out okay so jim ron you know it talks about the same thing it says a formal education will make you a living self education will make you a fortune so that means you have to learn you know mind is extremely powerful and uh, you know business mindset is all about uh, you are giving up your short term pleasure for long term happiness okay so that attitude if you carry then you will be all good okay so now the drum roll please drum roll is okay what is my favorite out of all these businesses okay what's my favorite my favorite is network marketing why is that so well in network marketing business there is no or low investment you don't have to put any money money in your from your pocket this is a plan b that means with your family if your friends uh, even if you have a job you can still build this Uh, affiliate marketing businesses okay oh sorry net marketing business um so team uh, fun when uh, net marketing is all about building a team building a network so you have a lot of fun together self development as we discussed about phenomenal uh, platform for self development you can work at your own uh, terms nobody is your boss and this business gives you a passive income and you can leave a family legacy and there will be always be a mentor there to help you in every step of the way if you want to reach out to him or her okay so with that we are concluding but uh, connect me if you want to get um, uh, connected with me i have somprakash.com is my website coach somprakash is uh, on twitter and uh, you know on instagram and on youtube is somprakash tv all right so hope it made sense hope you understood business models and uh, let me know if you have any questions more than i'm be happy to answer those back to you okay so with that we we'll conclude here guys i will see you guys soon okay with that over and out